I recently read this quote by Nobel laureate Albert Schweitzer. We are all so much together, but we are all dying of loneliness. Now, he was a scholar of the early 20th century when Mark Zuckerberg was not even a gleam in his parents' eyes. And yet, he described precisely what the situation is today. We all seem to be so well connected because of social media, yet the actual social interactions are way, way down. And that is the focus of this episode, loneliness, the bane of today's life and how to get out of it. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24, light on. As human beings, we are gregarious creatures. We are absolutely wired for attachment and connection. To be happy, we need intimate bonds. We need to be able to confide. We need to feel like we belong. We need to be able to get and give support. In fact, strong relationships are perhaps the key to a happy life. Initially in love, it actually works. We start feeling like that this one person is going to make us whole and complete. We try to get into relationships, hoping to find that one person who is going to put their finger in the dam of loneliness within us. Now, there are various reasons why we may be lonely and I can't just blame social media. See if you identify your loneliness type here. You've moved to a new city where you don't know anyone or you've started a new job or you've started a school full of unfamiliar faces or your long-term relationship has just ended maybe due to a death or a breakup you're lonely you're in a place that's not unfamiliar but you feel different from the people around you maybe your views maybe even the way you speak and look and it feels hard to connect with others about things that you find important Even though you have lots of family and friends, you feel lonely because you don't have a romantic partner. Or maybe you have a partner and are in a long-term relationship, but there are acres of silence between you. You don't feel a deep connection to that person. Sometimes you're surrounded by people who seem friendly enough, but maybe they're too busy with their own lives or they have lots of friends already. So while you'd like a deeper connection, they don't really seem interested. Or maybe your social scene has changed. Your existing friends have started working long hours or have started a family and no longer have time for you. Sometimes all you need is just someone fixing a cup of coffee in the next room or reading on the sofa. If you are already thinking, yes, I do feel lonely. So what the heck do I do about it? Well, I have news. Like Wiseman Mark Twain says, the worst loneliness is to not be comfortable with yourself. Everything starts with us. Because so many of us have grown up with a TV as a babysitter or always had some kind of music and sound in the background, we never learn to be comfortable with our thoughts. And we are doing it again with our kids. How many two-year-olds have you seen wielding a tablet or a mobile phone with so much dexterity, completely oblivious to the sun shining outside or the stack of toys inside? And right there is the seed of loneliness. We are so addicted to having someone or something else taking care of our needs. Now, as with everything else, it starts with you. So if you're up to it and you really want to change things, I have a strange tool for you right here in my toolbox. This one is called the Be My Valentine process. Before you build any connection with others, you need to have a strong, powerful connection with yourself. And how will you build it if you're constantly ignoring yourself? So, here's what you do. Take yourself out on a date. You can already hear your mind chatter. I told you I was lonely. Now you're making me do more alone things. Keep calm and listen on. Go dress up. Buy yourself some flowers and book yourself into the fanciest restaurant you can find. Or go watch a movie or catch a Broadway show. Or if you're really willing to do whatever it takes, go on a solo holiday. Stay with yourself and become comfortable listening to yourself. This one works. Come on, give it a shot.
Listen, you really don't need more people to feel sorry for you. You already feel sorry for yourself and that is a problem. You've tricked your mind to turn every story you hear into something negative. So let's stop it here. Stop badgering your partner about your loneliness. Start with yourself. Come to your own rescue. If you don't, no one else will. And I say this with all compassion. You really don't need that overeating, drinking, social media scrolls or one night flings. You just need to start connecting with yourself. And that's when magic happens. You're an unbelievably brave group of people. I know you can do it. Let me know how it works for you. And if you really know someone who needs to hear this, pass it on. Share if you care. And as always, if you need more help with your loneliness, reach out to me. The link is below this video.